So today is day 37 of 44 days of talking about transforming grief to love. Um, using the inspiration of 44 radio shows that I hosted over the holidays in 2010, I have been sharing one show a day, doing a little summary, and then posting the link to the show if you would like to listen to more of it. Um, my <coughs> guest today is... Frank Mundo, and that was Poe, the dog in the background, barking. Um, Frank <coughs> talked a lot about writing and reading as a tool of healing. Uh, Frank is a writer, and I don't know that the dog likes me talking on Facebook Live. All right, I'm going to come over here and do <laughs> a little bit more. Um, so Frank talked about writing and reading as a tool of healing. And Frank is a writer, and so he shared his journey with writing and also books that he has created. But um, Frank's brother had committed suicide, and it was an unusual situation in that his brother was missing for, I think it was six months before his body was found and then they found notes and some artwork and his brother was 37 years old. So Frank talked about that. And then Frank talked about um, using different writing tools as a way of exploring. And his wife came up with some of the ideas, Nancy, his wonderful wife, and then um, Frank also uh, came up with some of the ideas. A few of the things he shared were um, he and his mother set up a website with pictures and stories and invited people to tell their stories. And then, um, you know, what is important to you about Joe and what is important to you about life? Those were things that he was asking. They also did a calendar, an 18-month calendar, and he talked about the process of going through the pictures, going through all of these photographs, and just getting it down to 18, 18 of the photos. And what does that tell you about a person's life? Another idea was a Twitter journal. Something that Frank and his wife use is a Twitter journal where, you know, Twitter has 140 characters. And so at the end of the day, they write 140 characters that describe their day. Um, and then the last thing that he talked about was writing 101 goals for the year. So there's some inspiration with some energy from Poe in the background. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I know, Karen. Yes, critics in every form. All of a sudden, this quiet dog <laughs> got really loud. All right, here's Poe. You have to see him. Here, Poe. You're on Facebook Live. <laughs> He's not used to this.